What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Second Passport, and Happy New Year, or Feliz Año Nuevo, as they say down here in Ecuador. Today, I'm going to take a, a moment to describe a few of the quite strange customs that uh, that uh, Ecuadorians have down here in Ecuador uh, when it comes to the New Year, and some of them are quite can be quite annoying if you're not used to it, right? So let me explain how to deal with it and how Ecuadorians deal with it. So the first thing is that Ecuadorians like to do is obviously, like most cultures in the world, they like to play with a lot of fireworks, right? But I would suggest against it. I would not trust fireworks in Ecuador because, for instance, a young North American guy stayed at my hotel a couple years back uh, here uh, near Quito, and uh, he lit a firework here in Ecuador to celebrate the new year. And he said it was kind of a long wick, but as soon as he lit it, it blew up in his hand and he literally blew off uh, two or three of his fingers and he showed me his wrapped bloody hand the next day. Uh, so again, uh, a lot of the cheapest of the cheap Chinese crap gets sent to Ecuador that would not pass spec entering the U.S. So you want to be extra careful and actually shy away in my opinion from any type of fireworks in Ecuador. Now they also burn effigies, which are these things. I had to look up the English word because I didn't know. Monigotes, they call them down here. And uh, what it is is you, they're really something, they can be of certain famous people like Donald Trump I've seen. And, you know, it's pretty funny sometimes. But what people do is they burn them when the clock strikes, strikes 12. Too. Why do they do it? Like this one here that dinosaur Super Mario because uh, they they believe that it's you're burning away the old year so that the new year can be born and you can start anew right so pretty interesting concept now one of the more annoying traditions they have uh, particularly in the highlands of Ecuador on New Year's is people will literally rope off the road they'll just block the roads um, these guys who dress up as, I think, purposefully really ugly women, and then they'll like dance in front of you for a second, and then they will force you to pay them so you can pass, right? But, uh, again, it's super annoying, and, uh, and they'll do things like this, but what you can do as a driver, what Ecuadorians have told me, is that you can just pay them a penny, literally, one penny. Um, <clears throat> and that's fine. That's what Ecuadorians do so that you can cross. But it's still rather annoying, and you might want to reconsider traveling long distances in the highlands of Ecuador uh, after dark on New Year's Eve. And they're literally all over the place. You can't drive 100 meters on a main road almost without uh, these people appearing and basically extorting money out of you. I'm Mr. Second Passport. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button below. Take care.